when when we talk about Moses in the context of the Hasid al Olam, we're talking about belief in uh, a God who has chosen to reveal himself through his mighty works now. Was there a time before Moses when God revealed himself with mighty works? Um, it doesn't really... Well, I mean, if obviously the Noahic flood was... My sure, work. the punishments have always Punishment. come, the divine, divine retribution. Come, divine, yeah. Yeah. But when did God reveal himself through mighty works? Well, absolutely in the Exodus. Absolutely. But before that, we you know, we hear about, um, you know, a, a righteous more, family of people being saved from a destruction. More individuals, of, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah. when you have the narratives of the Bereshit from Joseph going back through his family, uh, you know, obviously all of them have tremendous stories of, of redemption yeah. being saved. So, but, but God hasn't revealed himself through mighty works in the, until Moses. So yeah, in, um, in a collective sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is, I mean, he's, he, God is the one who, who, you know, he, he rains down the fire from, uh, from heaven on Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, he, he floods the world. It, he does mighty things, but his, he's not revealing himself to others. The people who he saves in all of those ex examples are the people who already know him. Do, do you see what I mean? When has he revealed himself to people who did not know him? Well, obviously in the Exodus, and yeah. and then and then in the desert, um, and before they went into the land, you know, Jace, yeah. Joshua and Caleb, and and then yeah. to Rahab. Why did Rahab? Plenty, plenty why did of Rahab reverend. even take him yeah. in because, because no, she, fame, she knew the who they were, and she yeah. feared that God. She had heard had about, about these people wandering in the in the desert yeah. with the pillar and the. So uh, the reign the of fire. death. Is, so the reign of death is over because God has revealed Himself. Yeah, and he's he's revealed a little part of himself, but he's real. He's revealed himself. Prior to that, you know, it's just like the punishment of heaven. But now, people who are not privy to the information are able to see it and believe if they choose to. God gives the chance to them, who those who have seen it or heard about it, to hear the news and to believe and be saved. Whereas previously, prior to this, uh, it was uh, just. Uh, only the people who already believed were saved. You see, so so that's what the con the, the the reign of death from Adam till Moses is about. Really, that there, there was this, no chance for them. Yeah. And now this law is connected to Moses, not as the Mosaic Ten Commandment uh, law, but the the law for both the the Kehal and the Eda. Yes, and the Eda, the mm -hmm. the the Erev Rav and the children of Israel. Yeah. So that's the mixed multitude of every language, nation and tribe. And the uh, 12 tribes of Israel are, are the two tier system. So he, he's he's got this in mind and he develops this later as well. His, 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 pro his project is to say, you know, you're going to be grafted in. You can come in as believers now under Moses. But hey, that's just the beginning, folks, because you're now like embryonic babies growing in the womb and one day you've got to be born again and that born again will come only with the shedding of this physical bodies that we have and and attaining new bodies and and you have to be ready to to suffer you have to re be ready to put this these bodies down in order to receive that new born again status which is going to make you into Isaac too in the way that the children of Israel have already become Isaac so it's it's something yeah and that's why justification is emphasized here because it's also showing yeah before this rebirth is is a now a state a standing of the obedience of faith where you are made the hasade umat hala mm -hmm. of yeah or you're righteous of of this world uh and that gives you a place in the world to come amen should do. Is there something else you'd like me to expand upon here? No, I think 